Hi, in this tutorial we will be discussing on the software website creator and we will talk about how to use it, what's so special about it, and anything else in between. So let's get started. So when, when you first start the program you click on start website creator and you can either choose to create a new project or choose to edit an existing project. If you choose to create a new project, you will be prompted to enter the website title, the website author, the website URL address, if you have one, and website description, keywords to help find the website, and whether the language is going to be in English, and if you have an icon for said website type. You can also have an expert showing of it and this will give you more code on having a website if you know how to write code but back to the basic ones and this is what you would do you click on the choose menu type at the top of the website and you can either have the website on the side of the on the side of the website or at the top of the website or with the horizontal menu and then after that you would choose the template of the website. Website Creator offers over 1500 different templates to choose from. You have an abstract, company, travel agency, sky, or mobile world, video style, or themes, Uh, doesn't want to work for me. Well, oh, there we go. Themes, a sponge effect, walk in the park. So many different types of being, templates you can choose from. Architectural. And then once you do settle on the type of template you want, choose what color you want the background to be. I'm going to settle on blue for now. And then you can edit the graphic of the template now, depending on which template you choose you can header both the edit both the header and the footer but seeing as we chose the architectural template we can only edit the footer of this and by editing we change the color add um, logos to the footer if we want whatnot add text drag it anywhere anywhere you want add a picture if you have one again add a slideshow at the footer I don't know if that's normal or you can add HTML code if you know how to write HTML code You can also delete it if you don't want it anymore by just clicking on it and then clicking the delete button on your keyboard. Now going to the planning website, you're brought to a map creation site where it'll be your home page and then the page, the menu, these are the number of pages you have in the menu. So on top of your home page, if you chose to have a vertical menu, like we did, these page one, two, and three would appear on the vertical menu, numbered page one, two, and three. So if we test the site, page there's page one, two, and three, and our home page. You can choose to move page down, page one down, or back up. Same with the other pages. You cannot move the home page. The home page must stay where it is, but you can rename the home page. So now we move on to the creation of pages. So we're working on the home page right now. And 
when we work on the home page we with web creative it mainly works on a grid system so it gives you four boxes and if you want to add an image you select image you drag it to the one box you want and then you would double click on it once you have dragged it into the box and you can insert the file that you want to insert so we're going to just for the time being insert a ziggurat you can edit it if you want filters RBG sharpen burn sharpen it blur it a little bit and I'll set the coloring and then apply it to the uh, picture and change the display to image zoom and we, we can manually enlarge the image And once you're done editing, you can put alternative text on it. And once you're done editing the picture, you click OK on the bottom. And there, right there. So once you test the website, on our home page, we will see the picture of the ziggurat to the way we edited the picture. Now, if you want to add text, you can do that. Have a whole image gallery. And have a table. And to edit each of these, you just double click on it, type in some things, press OK. Image gallery, you can add as many pictures as you want. So for this, we're going to add one, two, three, four. Open. You can move them up in any order you want. Edit them. Have them thumbnail any way you want. Settings. And then with the table, get anything into the table. You can add more columns or take away columns. So. You can decrease the column sizes or increase them depending on how which way you look at it. Same thing with rows. Okay, now when you test this, let it all work its way together. And this is the home page now. Everything we've added. Now say if you want to delete an uh, object you've added to your page, just click on it. And then press delete on your keyboard message will pop up are you sure you want to delete this object click ok gone so we're going to do that for these two now say you want to add another row to your home page just click on this add a new row it's going to ask you when you want to add a new row you know and i add it after the last row you had your bottom row and it'll completely add a new row for you and the same thing goes with columns so now instead of four by four you have nine by nine three by three two by two. instead of two by two you have three by three <clears throat> and you can change it so your picture instead of just taking up one box can take up four boxes 
same goes with any other widget you have. Now, say if you want to add a video to it, your page, you just grab it, drag it over, double click, and now you have the choice to either have a local file, an internet file, or a YouTube video. And then you just upload said file. If it's a local file. Test your website. And there's your video. If you want to change editing any of the pages, you just go back to Plan Website, click on the page you want to edit, double click on it, and then now you're currently edit page one instead of page the home page. You can do the same things you've done before when you were editing the home page. If you want to add HTML code to your page, just click on the HTML code button, drag it onto your website, double click it and then type in the HTML code or the CSX coding that you you want to add to your page, your web page. Now when you get to the event settings, you can edit the menu, main menu for the font, the alignment, general settings, the color of the border, any graphics you want to add. Edit drop down menus so you can have drop down menus if you need drop down menus. It's the same as editing the main menu, sub menus, and whatnot. You can also add a blog page to your website. Click on the different templates that are offered to give the blog a name, have any further notes, any comments that you want to have, put a, a password on the blog if you don't want people, certain people to see it, can RSS feed, give it a name, add feeds from the internet. Have a reserved restricted area where you, if you need a password to get into. Can edit the text style on every page you have. Have a special welcome page that will be if people visit your website to this would be the page they see before the home page. A shopping cart page. And then when you're done with editing all these advanced settings, you go to the export. And now you decide if whether you want to upload it to the internet, export it to a disk, or optimize and batch to a folder. Now the only way you can upload it to an internet is if you have an FTP address or an internal directory. Now this you have to pay for unless you're with the company and they provide the address for you. Otherwise, you'll be exporting your website to a disk for further editing and for other people to see, say if it was for a project. Or you can optimize it to a batch and, and bot batch to folder where you can edit it on another computer with Website Creator. So overall, Website Creator is a very simple a powerful website design program. It allows you 
allows the users to allows the users to pause. It allows the users to create organized websites with as much with as many powerful features that are necessary in today's internet world. And it'll only continue to get better with the newest website creator software being out and it allows for HTML5 editing which is the most powerful programming that is out today. So overall, Website Creator is a good website design program.